Yes, welcome to my low bias monthly uh, March contribution for bad licensed games. I'm doing Ghostbusters for the Atari 800, copyright 1984 by Activision. And yes, the game starts off with a follow the bouncing ball version of the song Ghostbusters, something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! There's something weird, and it don't look good. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I mean, obviously I have to sing along, guys. Seeing things run through your head. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! An invisible man sleeping in your bed. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. You're gonna call Ghostbusters. If you're all alone, pick up the phone and call Ghostbusters. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Here it likes the girls. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ghostbusters, if you have a dose of a freaky ghost, baby, you better call Ghostbusters. Let me tell you something. Busting makes me feel good. No ghost. I'm afraid of no ghost. Comes through your door, unless you just want some more. You better call Ghostbusters. We gonna call Ghostbusters. We gonna call. Ghostbusters! Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! So, for this alone, this was possibly one of my favorite games on the Atari back in the day. But it's not actually a good game, as you all come to see. Once I remember how to actually control it. Uh, nope, that's not the right button. That's just gonna restart the song. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Nope. One of you is the button I need to push. Nope, that's not it. That's still not it. Nope. Ha ha ha. Emulator, why you let me down? Ah, F2. Of course. Ghostbusters for professional paranormal investigations and eliminations. We're ready to believe you. To form a Ghostbusters franchise in your city, please state your name, last, comma, first. Nats, comma, rag. Do you have an account? No. In that case, welcome to your new business. As a new franchise owner, the bank will advance you $10,000 for equipment. Use it wisely. Good luck. 
You have $10,000 to buy a car, press 1, 2, 3, or 4, and then return. Press space to view the cars, select. So if you actually beat the game, um, you can effectively new game plus it with this account. It uses a password system effectively. So let's see what the different cars are. One, compact, $2,000, carries five items of cargo, top speed, 75 miles per hour. Two, 1963 hearse, $4,800, carries nine items of cargo, top speed, 90 miles per hour. And it looks a lot like the car from the actual movie. Three, station wagon, $6,000, carries 11 items of cargo, top speed, 11, or 110 miles per hour. And finally, for high performance, $15,000, carries seven items of cargo, top speed, 160. It's unnecessarily expensive because we can't actually deal with that at this point. So let's just get the hearse. Now we get equipment. So, um, I think we pretty much want one of everything. Uh, what's the button? Aha, control. So the PK energy detector, if I remember correctly, tells you how everything is doing right now. Uh, image intensifier, don't remember what that does. It shows us stuff, I think. Uh, marshmallow sensor lets us know when Stay Puft Marshmallow Man's showing up. Um, ghost bait, not sure what it does, but it sounds important. Tra traps required. Uh, well, they're required, so let's get at least one. Ghost Vacuum helps slow down all the bad things. And a portable laser containment system that lets us, uh, if I remember correctly, empty our traps without having to go back to base. Uh, but we'll just take three. And we are more or less out of money, which is maybe a good thing. Maybe not. We'll find out. And welcome to the city. And look, there's something going on over here. So let's go drive over here and deal with it. That's right, we are driving. So we have at the bottom our city's PK energy, and it's slowly counting up. Um, when it reaches a high enough number, uh, we hit the end game. Um, but we need enough money to actually make it to the end game. And we do that by capturing ghosts. Now, every t now it's slowly ticking up, as you can see. Every time one of those yellow ghosts along the outside reach the Zool Tower, it will jump up pretty significantly. Um, so if we need to slow down the Doom Clock so we can actually make more money, we can drive over them and that will slow them down. Oh, the imager lets you know when you drive past the building if it's going to be a problem or not. Um, but in order to really slow them down, you can, for example, go we'll head back to the Ghostbuster headquarters and clean out that tank. So as you're driving through here, because I have a vacuum, I can suck up the ghosts. But I have to be mostly over them. And however I drove, I moved around the map, that is going to affect how long we are in the driving sequence. So effectively right now I am wasting time that I could be doing good things. I hope you like the Ghostbusters theme song because you will be hearing a lot of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, and see now this is purple, so we can actually go and deal with it. Now the me the money goal is actually just be higher than where you started. So you might not want to actually buy lots of things, but Buying lots of things makes everything else easier. Try beams inwards. 
So if you cross the beams, you automatically fail. No! Ugh. And it's slime on my guys. Now as you can see, the city's PK energy just went up by 300. And I don't make any money off of that. Uh oh, I'm gonna stop you. Ooh, and there's a ghost here, so let's go deal with it. And this is pretty much all of the entire mechanic of the game. You, are, you have now seen everything that this game has to offer, except for a couple of late game things. But we'll get to those. I feel like so is better off this way. Oh, come on! That's BS. Okay, well, that's not going well. And I believe you only have, since you only have technically three Ghostbusters right now, because uh, they didn't have enough colors for a black Ghostbuster. Um, there is... You have to go back if you lose two guys. Like if you get slimed twice. They are unfit for duty. I'm already doing badly. There is a high, high chance that we are not going to win. Alright, let's try it back the other way, because the other way seemed to work better. Sh probably shouldn't, because look, he has much more space to move around. And yet, I can, I guess I can uh, better guess where he's moving. So even though it was pink and not purple, because it was a long drive, by the time I got there, he was already doing his thing. So I'm gonna slow myself down a little by driving more than I need to and see if that's enough. Things down again. And every. Oh, there we go. Now he's back. So, the uh, little. Uh, there's a little key and a gate going around representing the key master and the gatekeeper. Um, when they reach Zul's tower, they will initiate the endgame. Uh, but you can, um, or at least they can preemptively initiate the endgame. But. We don't really want them to do that because we don't have the money for that. So for now, we just want to keep driving around and resetting their position until we are ready to, for the final part of the game. Oh, don't want to start it yet. Get back in there. Oh no! I crossed the streams! Fortunately, your backpack's short out in time. Go back to headquarters. <sighs> well, I don't know if you noticed, but the ghosts are moving a bit faster now. Dang, nabbit. That's what I get for facing the wrong direction. Ooh, that guy's moving quickly. He's going to get to his little star. So if you want to actually speed up the progression, you don't want to catch the ghosts. But 
right now <laughs> we are doing terribly and we really need to catch more slimers. Oh! So close. This is going very badly. Okay, I think I saw something in this area that was pink. Pink? Do you know it's pink? Okay, well, hopefully that's enough. Wait, that says 16. Did it say 16 before? Or did it actually... It's never come and go before I actually had a chance to do anything. I hope that's not the case. Driving like a maniac. I think at some point the PK energy becomes high enough that the uh, Marshall Man starts showing up. The uh, thing doesn't boost until after he flies away. Bah! Well, fortunately, it's close to headquarters. Where's the next ghost? There's one down there. Soon. Okay, well, they're all stopped for now. Hopefully, I'll be enough time for me to get there. Or for the slammer to show up. So the top speed of your vehicle determines how long this sequence takes. Which of course you know matters when you're worrying about how much PK energy is growing. Ideally, you really want, you know, as fast a vehicle as you can get. I think the third vehicle is actually probably the best, though, because it can still hold a lot of stuff without costing as much as the fourth one. A lot of money is only a fifth of the way, and I am definitely more than a fifth of the way through my PK energy. Fortunately, there are a few ways to get a lot of money towards the end game if I don't mess it up. Fortunately, you get no money for sucking up these ghosts. in this drive. I 
There's not going to definitely will while we're on the map. Can't stop them. Oof. So went from 3600 to 3900. Oh, that was probably me taking too long for the slimer. Yep. Oh man, there's another one off to the right. It's starting to get too fast. I'll try the facing the same direction thing again. Uh, once he... Come on, really? This is going terribly. You're so screwed. Oh my god. How much energy is going up? for averting the marshmallow catastrophe. So they were all trying to go somewhere else, which meant they were about to summon the marshmallow man and destroy a building, but I was able to use my ghost bait to stop that. That's what the ghost bait's for. Oh, come on! I totally had. He was right there. Got him. Okay, we are starting to make some progress. Marshmallow alert. Got him. Okay, where's your two thousand dollars? We might actually get this. Second. two more slime slimers and stop one more marshmallow man. I think we can still win this. I don't know which way I'm getting more luck at this point. Well, that one worked. Okay, 
Yeah, that's enough for the show for uh, Slimer Shop. We are definitely close to any game here, folks. So. thousand dollars, barely. Marshmallow alert stopped. Okay. We can almost afford that new car. Marshmallow Man and close the portal. Alright, that means that we have enough money, which we already know. Oh, jeez. So we need to get two guys past his feet. Okay, I think that's one. Two. Congratulations. Thank you, Ragnats. The portal to the spirit world has been closed. You earn a $5,000 reward from the city. Also, you made more money than you started with, so the bank will raise your credit limit to $19,700. Your account number is 273-22400. Write it down for future play. Starting balance, 10000 Ending balance, 19,700, and that, folks, is the first time I've ever beaten this game. It is terrible. It is not a good game. Um, I mean, it's extremely repetitive. Um, as you can see, it's really easy to lose f by no fault of your own. Um, and actually, as a kid, I did not know about the ghost bait. I learned about that much later in life. So, you know, if you don't know about the ghost bait, <laughs> the Marshmallow Man just wrecks the entire city, and every time he breaks, destroys a building, you lose money. So, yeah, it's very easy to end completely bankrupt. And if you don't have enough money, you can't actually even try that little mini game with the bouncing guy. You have to, you just automatically lose. Like the uh, Marshmallow Man just comes and destroys the city, and you lose. So there, that's. That's this game. So, until next time, folks. Bye. I'm playing a game! <laughs>